My name is Jana Vinnern. I am an artist. I use sound as my material and um, I have done this now for about 30 years. I grew up by the ocean and I spent a lot of time in a rowing boat on my own or uh, swimming around and um, being very concerned with how we are as uh, human beings together with all the other creatures we share the planet with. If you try, you know, you can put a wooden oar and then into the water and you concentrate, you can start to pick up the sound of the fish and of the crustaceans that are, um, you know, actively making sound underwater. It's quite amazing and everybody can do that. I'm here at uh, Called Up as a resident artist and I am here to uh, listen in to uh, the coral reefs just right outside here. I mean, this is the first time I'm recording in the Red Sea. When I am making the sound installations and uh, you know inviting people to come inside and listen and you know try to make it sort of become a good listening experience for people they are very often surprised sometimes confused because you don't necessarily know how rich the sound environment are underwater It is so, so important, you know, and there's a huge difference about coral being there and not being there. It's like you can imagine if you have a tree outside and you see the variety of insects, you know, there is different species of birds, you know, your cat might sit underneath hunting the birds. You have all this stuff going on. If you cut the tree away and you carry it away from that place, all of this life is gone. You need to kind of be there again and again, and you get to know the fish, you know. I learn to listen to them. I learn to hear the different sound they make at different times of the month even. They interact with each other. And if it's quiet, that's scary. If it's totally quiet, that is when no life is there. Corals are in a very critical position now. It is an issue that needs to be, um, you know, put to attention. 